guys, I'm in the process of making some new hay racks for my guinea pigs and I thought this would be quite a cute little video for you to show you how I'm doing it. At the minute I've just done this one to see how well it would work and I've got it like this. Um, the paint is a bit strip stripped off on some part which I'm going to have to fetch off. Um, obviously before putting it in with the guinea pigs but actually it looks pretty good so far. And then I'm going to put some pieces of Corex across these side bits. Um, and that'd be quite good. You could also do this sort of bending thing for um, using them as ramps as well. Not ramps, um, we could do them for ramps. And using them for, um, oh dear, I forgot what it is, tunnels and cover it with um, little fleece. That's really a good idea. So I'm going to show you how I've done it on this one. For now, I'm going to move this out of the way, that'd be a good idea. And first off, I got my feet on it about the same sort of place and wide out. And then I got this bit here and I just started to pull. You'll hear some um bit of pressure and a bit of cracks. But at the minute I'm just trying to push it over the best I can with one hand anyway. Um and it is quite difficult with one hand I've got to admit. Um and then it's what I did, and then you have this, and then like that, and then it's what I've done. That's a bit lopsided, but I'll fix that. Um, <coughs> and it's what I did is pushed it there, and I pushed my feet down on it. Let me bring it towards me a little bit better. And I pushed it down. Um, and then you have a nice little hay rack um, and then obviously you can pull it apart a little bit as to as wide as you want the opening obviously um, and then your guinea pigs will have a nice little hay rack which you can cable tie onto the side of the cage um, so it looks like that at the minute I will hopefully do another part to this when I've sorted it out a little bit more um, and then as you can see the paint strips off a little bit but it's not too bad so I'll just get this bit sorted out and I'll do another video in a second so I've curved both of them over this one is um, still a little bit wonky but it will do fine um, it's hard to get it perfectly right on it so I'm going to get the paint bits off that I've just been spit off I think it was mostly on my first one that I did. A um, little bit, so just need peeling off just so then I don't get into the pig's eyes or anything. Um, so I peel most of it off. Okay, guys, now what you'll see is that I've put the hay racks in. You'll see a big wall of hay. Um, I did have lids on the top of them that I put on attached to cable ties but I took them off because it restricted view a little bit too much and looked a bit too blocky. Um, so I've attached them on and I've created these little side panels out of Corex and cable tied them onto both sides so it wasn't full out the sides. Um, and as, as you can see they're eating the hay so far and it hasn't let out too much hay. This was from the hay paws before. Um, and his lilies, she has the side bits on as well. Um, and as you can see it's been white um, and she's there eating her hay too this is what it looks like from the pig's point of view if you can see that I don't know there we go and she seems to enjoy it um, I put theirs down a little bit so they can reach and get underneath it as well as um, and they seem to be enjoying theirs so that's pretty good so all I did for this was bend it with my feet um, and then I cable tied it onto the side of the cage and I've secured it on with three cable ties on both um, and then just stuffed hay in it and they seem to be pulling it out easy enough so I'm going to try this out and see how this lasts um, and see how they get on with this um, oh, and as you can see there's piggy pig pigs um, pigwam and the pigs have been laying in it and curling up in it which is a brilliant sign that they're enjoying it so far so that's even better. I'm going to do my review very soon so keep your eyes out. Um, 
and as you can see my strawberry print theme is growing and it's on my lap pads as well it's growing gradually <laughs> um, but Pai is just having a drink well Lottie and um, Laurie's having some pellets and Lily's eating her hay you can just see her bum there <laughs> um, so yeah um, how I made these just bend it with my feet curl it over and then I could tap well I drew onto the Corex which is on the floor which you can just about see underneath all the hay <laughs> um, I cut out and measured the side panels and cut them out um, and then I cable tied them on to the sides and secured that on I did make lids which were in the bin now I took them off because they restricted a lot of view and didn't look very colourful so I took them off and now they're just eating all their hay I've cable tied them onto the cage so that's pretty much it really, that's all there is to it making this sort of um, hanging hay rack. That's all there is to it. it, it Lily's does restrict view uh, from the side, but from the, but from here it's, you can still see her pretty face. So it doesn't restrict it too much and they do hold a lot of hay, so that's pretty good work. Um, so I managed to do it on my own in about 10 minutes all together. Um, so pretty good and pretty easy to do so I'll hopefully do a picture diagram of how I did it and there we go <laughs> so pretty simple for you um, if not then I hope I've described it easy enough it's not exactly difficult to work out how you've done it so thank you for watching goodbye